God has blessed every child with a specific interest and talent, which may remain under the wraps if not spotted, marked, and then nurtured like exactly looking after the growing up of a tree. Often, the talent under such circumstances is forcibly set aside and only studies are put in the fore. Only education is given priority without realizing that pursuing the hobby may have a positive effect on all the aspects of the development of a child. The child then either continues to pursue his interest secretly or simply forgets it and moves on with his studies as per the wishes of his parents. It is observed many times that in order to fulfill the wishes of the parents, the child makes half-hearted attempts and the results are never on the expected Mass is lines. 5 into 7 minus 3 upon 2. That is 5 into 4 divided by 2. Come, let us observe a child facing a similar problem. His talent has been explored by a teacher, a maths teacher. Even being a maths teacher, he understood his talent. And he successfully convinced his parents to allow him to continue with his talent. There lies the beauty, the beauty of life. I have been looking for you since morning. Oh God! Oh Ritesh! Not again! You are again adding to the heaps of paper which are not going to be of any use either to you or anyone else. Ma, see this one. I am sure you like this. No Ritesh. No, not again. I had enough of this. Come. Come with me. No, Ma. Let me write. No arguments. No. Please. No, you are seriously very weak in maths. Please, let me write. Come with me. No arguments, I said. No, Ma. We need to go to a maths teacher. You are seriously very poor in maths. See, triangles in which all the angles are equal. If all the angles in a triangle are equal, then its all sides are also equal. Yes. Triangles in which all the three sides are equal. If all the sides in a triangle are equal, then its angles are also equal. Exactly. So, now you understood? Now you draw a triangle. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you, sir? Uh, this is my son, Ritesh. I have spoken about him before. You remember? Uh, Ritesh, say good morning. Ritesh, say good morning. Ritesh, come. Come here. Come and sit here. Ritesh. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Come. Come sit here. Okay, sir. I will leave now. Okay. Sure. Ritesh, come. Let's study together. Here's your copy. Sir, can yes. I write 
write something? Write? What would you write? Don't forget to do your homeworks, okay? Bye, sir. Bye. Sitesh, you still writing? Let me see. You have written this? Yes. Did you like this? You come with me. Come from here. Come. And Mrs. Thakur. Uh, he is. Uh, I'm Ritesh's maths teacher. Oh, hello. Please hello, sir. take a seat. Uh, have you seen this? What your son has written? Isn't it amazing? Unbelievable? Just see. Yeah, we know. We actually know. Okay. I don't know what he keeps on writing. We have a cupboard full of these heaps of paper which are not going to be of any use. What? Uh, okay. Can I see those heaps of paper? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Please, please come with me. Yeah. Please. Come. <laughs> Thank you. Please, take a seat. Here. Do you realize what your son is writing? Uh, does it make any sense? Uh, will it be of any use? Of course. Mr. Thakur, your son may not be taking interest in study, I mean, subjects like geography, maths. He never does. Yeah, seriously. And history. <laughs> but I would say, if you promote his writing skills well, he can be very good in every subject. Getting me? I cannot understand. Uh, as in, what did you mean? Mr. Thakur, a creative person can only express his feelings, his thoughts, his emotions through his creative skills and talent. And if he is not allowed to do so, it affects his overall development. So it is very important so that he can express his feelings freely. What do you think we should do then as uh, parents? I think let him write, promote his writing skills and you will see a much better person in making. And very soon he will improve in all his subjects. And Mr. Thakur, most importantly, he will become a good human being in his life. It is very important to see through the child's talent and allow him to express himself in his own way. This will act as an added advantage and will help the child do everything, whether it is studies or any other activity.
activity wholeheartedly. We must not relate the child's interest with the profession he would choose as his career later on. They may not be the same, but he would definitely turn out to be a free will, confident self, so very essential to succeed in life. Now let us hear from a few friends as to what they have to say about this. Field of interest, my passion is dance. I'm very interested in designing. I like designing cars and bikes. It's like my passion and I'm really into it since my childhood. I would, uh, would love to be an automobile designer and that to uh, renown in the whole world. I really want to design some really good cars for the future. I'm more in sports. I feel that it's the best way to relax when I'm uh, going through a hectic schedule of studies. I further want to go in for ICWA, that is uh, Cost and Work Accountancy. My sports uh, and academics together given me lots of confidence to be further be a good manager. My fields of interest or hobbies are all about ex uh, expressing myself and uh, my inner thoughts. So it can take various forms. It can take the form of writing, the painting. Like if I get frustrated, I paint it out. And when I'm too at peace, or, uh, when I'm really at peace at my, uh, with myself, then I take my camera and clip photographs of nature. So it's all about well, what I'm thinking at the moment, like all my emotions. So. Uh, I'm aspiring to be a doctor, so I'm in the field of medicine. My hobbies are important to my profession because it's all about dealing with people. And I think that medicine should not only be restricted to the physical fitness of the people, focus on the mental and what the emotional balance of the people. So if I'm at peace with myself and I can express myself and look back on, on whatever I have done and get a, a hold of Wow, whatever my feelings and thoughts and what, so I can also counsel people. I'm into books, magazines, newspaper, everything. And one more, basketball. It's a great stress buster for me. I aspire to earn my name in the business world. Reading helps a lot in like improving my communication skills and my, like I said, I stress buster basketball. It, Helping, focusing, teamwork and etc. A field of interest is in writing columns. My writing skills has helped me to be focused in my career. My field of interest is swimming. I want to be an IAS officer. Well, one is rightly said that a rubber band can be extended to a certain level. But if it is extended beyond its level, Either it loops off into two pieces or loses its construction. So that same thing applies to me as well. If I won't be allowed to continue with my ho hobby, I don't think I would be able to excel in any of the fields. As I said, I'd want, I want to be an IS officer, so for which I need to put in a lot of hard work, long hour studies, burning midnight oil, which becomes very monotonous. So in order to break that monotony, I need to swim. On one side, if you see the parents' uh, role, definitely they are a worried lot because if academically you have not, I would not excel if, you, if you're not able to cope up with academics, you're unable to retain yourself for, for, for the jobs or for the uh, education. But on the other side, if you look at the child's growth, it is very vital that the child must be involved in some kind of activity which is close to his heart. Any pressure, any compulsion on the child will lead you to a dull child. It's the best time to observe the child when he or she is le left loose in the play field. That is where you can actually see the child's qualities coming up, maybe leadership qualities, maybe peer group qualities. That is where you can actually see the child showing his uh, best abilities. Most of the children, those who, who again, you know, not able to perform in the uh, academics, you know, the, some subjects like maths and science. But when it comes to sports, I mean, their performance is spectacular. So everybody has got, you know, some or the other talent, the hidden talent. But once that hidden talent is identified, 
you know that identification itself is important but once it is identified if given on the right uh, path you know if given the right direction the children can really uh, bloom like anything and the personality of course you know would be developed this is something very important you know the children they need to uh, you know they need to be nurtured by the teachers and the teachers as the role models if they understand that where is the potential of the child where the child is able to really grow you know it's like just like a garden you know the garden really looks good when it is multi-hued and similar is the case with the children you know we have different kinds of children there are their ways of expression are different few are say eloquent few are able to express you know through their verbal communications but the others might be using some other medium say for example paint and brush you know they may be you know lots of uh, their feelings their expressions their emotions come through the paint and brush but when it comes to academics they may not be able to perform well so friends here we are if we want our children to blossom like flowers we must encourage and help them in all their efforts be it studies or any other aspect of the growing up process It is therefore not only important but it is essential to let the child 